And this is one thing that I want y'all to, to take from this Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz fight. Deontay Wilder grew up tonight. He grew up. He went through a battle. He went through a Warriors battle, right? He went through a, a, a fight where he was really in trouble and still withstood that and still persevered to get the victory, man. I fool with Tay Wilder, man. It's something about him, man. It's a real authentic vibe about him. And, like, you know what I'm saying? A young dude from the hood, like, I, I identify with that. A young dude from the hood that came up from nothing and is heavyweight champion of the world from Tuscaloosa, Alabama? Come on, man. Bronze Bomber. Got the name like Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber. That's, that's man, I, I fool with that in the, in the bravado that he has, the self-confidence. Confidence is everything. And with that young man, he never wanes in confidence. Even when the fight is not going in his favor, he never wanes. That's something that I can appreciate. Like, boxer, boxing is a, is a mental, mental game. You got to be in warrior mode, alpha dog mode. That's why in, in the corner, people always ask, why do Roger Mayweather be cursing when he's talking to Floyd and calling the other his opponent a B-I-T-C-H or H-O-E or, or M-F and all this type of stuff? Why do he degrade Mayweather's opponents while they fighting? Because he's trying to keep Floyd in alpha mode so he can know that this dude ain't better than you. You can get him out of there. You can defeat him easy. He ain't nowhere near your class. And he, a, a fighter has to think like that in order to get through a fight, in order to get led to victory. He can't be thinking, man, he can't be doubting himself in the middle of the fight. And that's what often happens to a lot of fighters when they get hit hard or they lose rounds. They're not accustomed to losing or things happen in a fight that they're not used to happening. They get they get intimidated. And Deontay wasn't intimidated at all. Even in the middle of the fight, he still stood up. Firm and strong, you looking at him, and he's still coming at him. You know what I mean? So that's one thing I can appreciate about this young guy, man. This young cat is hungry. He's still hungry. And he still want everybody to know he the best out there. He not he coming at everybody. And he's not afraid to fight a guy like Anthony Joshua. A lot of guys would have been afraid to fight him because Joshua is so big, so muscle bound, big tall, six seven, about two fifty, easy, and cut. Like a lot of people are afraid of guys like that, and he's not scared, even though he's not the biggest dude. Like he said at the end of the fight, post uh the post fight uh interview, he said, "Listen, it ain't about who got the biggest muscles, who the strongest, none of that. It's about heart, willpower, and desire." And he got that with punching power. That's the difference, man. I'm telling y'all, I don't know if Anthony Joshua can take the shots that Ortiz took. I'm not sure. He gonna have to. We gonna have to see what his chin look like. Yes, um, Joshua is more technically sound. Y'all can make them jokes about T Deontay. Oh, he wow. That's all he got is this punch. And he ain't got no skill. Listen, in boxing, sometimes all you all you need is a great punch, and it's night night. Your favorite fighters can. I seen Buster Douglas with Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? All you gotta have is a great punch. And it's a wrap. And it was a wrap, man. It was a wrap. Deontay grew up tonight, man. What a great fight for the heavyweight division for boxing, period, man. They put on tonight. Tay Wilder, still the champ, baby.